Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. That's Rudy. He's the face of Operation Red Nose, which is in full swing now in the Harbor City. We're going to tell you why they need more volunteers and how you can get involved. Getting to know Nanaimo's first poet laureate, extreme sports, extreme food, and now extreme beer and Kris Kringle conundrum. That and more in the next 30 minutes. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We're going for a drive today because, well, if you've been drinking and celebrating over the holiday season, you should not be getting into a vehicle without a designated driver. Operation Red Nose is here to help. We're going to tell you all about it as we go for a drive today on Go. But we're starting off with Nanaimo's first ever Poet Laureate. Kelly Robinson finds out a little bit more about this spirited young woman, old woman. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. I think it's my right of way here. I should let, is this guy letting me go? No. no. Some people need to learn how to drive, I think. Drinking and driving is definitely something that you don't want to do, and that's why we're here in conversation with Don Allen. He's the program coordinator for Operation Red Nose. What's going on this year, Don? Are there not enough volunteers, or why are you sort of calling out for help at this late stage of the game? Because it seems a little bit late. Our uh, demand is way up this year, and the message is finally getting through. ICBC, the RCMP, a lot of different groups have been pounding away at this year after year. Changes to the uh, liquor laws. People now are not drinking and driving, or and at least they're looking for alternatives. And that was the whole goal, is for people to incorporate in their way of celebrating that drinking and driving is not a part of that celebration. Absolutely. They plan, now they plan their evening on how they're going to get home, and we're providing a, a viable alternative for them. So they pick up the phone, they call you, 250-755-6969. They get a volunteer on the other end. A team of three come out, is that right? Yes. To take them and their car home. Yes. And how long is the wait? I mean, sometimes when you want to go, you want to go now. Just to give you an example, last weekend, last Friday, we averaged 28 to 32 minutes from the time we got the call to the time that we had the customer home, their good. keys in their hands. So it, uh, it went quite well. It, uh, certain times of the night, it might take a bit longer, you know, for some unknown reason over a 15 minute period we get a pile of calls and they back up a little bit but uh, it's and worth that, the wait. well and that's where more volunteers come in you know the more teams we have out on the road the quicker we can respond and we certainly don't want somebody making a decision to drive because they have to wait and that's when that decision is going to happen they're waiting they're going oh it's been half an hour now i'm good i'm gonna go and in reality they're not good absolutely and you might want to think you know who's going to want to volunteer to drive around a bunch of drunks at whatever time of night or early in the morning but from your experience it's actually quite a lot of fun there's the interaction with the customers and the other volunteers absolutely we have it's a very it's a fun environment in our headquarters our uh, volunteers are well looked after. We have a number of restaurants that supply food to us. Nice. And uh, we've got a steady supply of coffee from Van Hoot and uh, lots of different refreshments, all non-alcoholic, of course. And uh, it's uh, very, very interesting and entertaining interacting <laughs> with the clients. We get people singing. We get uh, people in just wonderful moods because they're not worried about getting home safely. Excellent. We're going to talk about why Operation Red Nose is good for Pacific sport here in Nanaimo after a short break. Still to come today on Go, it was only a matter of time. Extreme beer has arrived and a viewer video, Chris Kringle, conundrum. That and more still ahead today on Go. Hi, I'm Corey Hostetter from the Downtown Nanaimo Business Improvement Association. Did you know that Downtown Nanaimo has over 360 businesses in a six block radius?
You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We're driving today to really get the point home that you should not be in this seat. If you've had anything to drink over this holiday season, we know there's lots of parties going on and there's nothing wrong with having fun, but there is something wrong with drinking and driving. The easy solution, Operation Red Nose 250-755-6969. It's a service that is offered through Pacific Sport and it's by donation. We'll find out later what those donations are used for right here in our community. But we're heading down to Victoria now. We're on the topic of celebrating with spirited type of beverages. And we've all heard of extreme sports. We've heard of extreme food. We've heard of extreme weather. Uh, now we're talking extreme beer. Here's Suchetta Singh. Yeah, beer is coming into its own, that's for sure. I missed out on the beer advent calendar this year, but it's uh, going to be on my list for next year. Have you heard about that, Don? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fun. There's a couple of companies in BC that are uh, distributing an advent calendar with a new beer every day, something fun for the holidays. And after you indulge, you don't drink and drive, you call Operation Red Nose. It's by donation. And yes. what does the money go to and how much is the average donation for something like that? Our donations range anywhere from $20 to $50, but we want to make the uh, point that it is absolutely free. If you don't have any cash, we're taking you there. We're not uh, awesome. judging you. It's totally confidential and it can be absolutely free. Awesome. But the money, donations and the funds that we do raise go to Pacific Sport programs for children. We run uh, camps. We also have programs for elite athletes. And uh, it uh, is all about getting kids involved in uh, physical activity and learning in a non-judgmental uh, format the joy of getting involved in sports. And how much money are we talking from this particular fundraiser? This program raises approximately 15000 a year. Okay. It is growing and uh, it uh, is a tremendous amount of work but it's also a very very important service for the community. A lot of fun to be had by the volunteers, keeping everybody safe out there on the roads. And a reminder that uh, there is still a need for volunteers, not because there aren't enough, but because the demand is more and people are actually getting smarter about how they party these days. And that number, once again, Operation Red Nose 250-755-6969. And it runs right through until New Year's Eve. And Don, you said earlier that you'll go through right until 6 a.m. if yes, that's necessary. Yes, the phones keep ringing, we'll be answering them. Awesome. And, uh, just remember, if you're going to have some holiday cheer, call a deer. <laughs> call a deer. That deer would be Rudy. We met him earlier. We'll see him at the end of this ride as well. We're going to throw things over now to, well, a four-legged friend who needs a home. The BC SPCA is hosting a 50% off uh, pet adoption event, cat adoption event, right through until December the 21st. And I'm still on the fence about getting my little kids a kitten for Christmas. They would love it. And we all know that it would end up being my cat after about a month, but that's okay. Anyways, we'll be back with more right here on Go Island after a short break. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4, having some fun here today and driving around to drive home the point that you should not drink and drive this holiday season. What you should do is call Rudy and his pals, 250-755-6969. That is Operation Red Nose, or you might want to give them a call too and spend some time volunteering. We're going to throw things over now to a silent short feature film that was produced by a local group of uh, film enthusiasts right here in Nanaimo called Net Nanaimo. They actually gave us something back uh, at Halloween that was entertaining and this is their look at uh, Chris Kringle's conundrum. A big thank you to Net Nimo for putting that video together for us. That is something that we encourage you, the viewer, to do. 
uh, here at Shaw TV is put together a little video if you want the public to see it, our viewers to see it. Let us have a look at it and we'll see if we can include it in upcoming editions of Go Island. Operation Red Nose is in full swing right through until New Year's Eve. They need volunteers and uh, the number to call for that 250-755-6969. You can talk with Dawn directly and if you need a ride, 250-755-6969. Before we go, the SOS program for kids in Parksville Qualicum aims to allow parents to shop in a toy shop environment for their kids, something that they might not be able to afford on their own. And that toy shop is actually a room in the SOS building in Parksville that is filled with toys donated by members of the community, including all of those collected at the recent Tynamara Toy Drive breakfast. That was on November the 27th. Here to tell you more about the program is Susan. The toy shop is set up. We had a record amount of donations from Tynamara this year. You know, it isn't SOS giving the to the community. It's the community giving to community. It's really just one community sharing Christmas and we are just the people, sort of almost the, the middle people that you know distribute it. And it's the kindness of the community and the caring of the community that really drives this program. What happens is the families come and register. We need proper ID for everybody, but if, if families come in here and they have you know, picture ID, etc., they can come right till Christmas Eve. We have an area that they, the kids can be you know, separate from the parents, and then the parents can go and choose a gift for their child. So it's, and it's just lovely. And, and then the, that's the, the gift that is waiting for their child under the tree on Christmas morning. Although there was an official registration period, it really is as simple as just walking into SOS if you need the help. It's anonymous. No one's going to know that you're, you're there. No one's going to judge you. If you need help, reach out. It's here. It's what this season is all about. You can just walk in, as I mentioned, 245 Hearst Avenue West in Parksville or 250-248-2093 for more information. They do have a website as well, sossd69.com. That does bring us to the end of this edition of Go Island. A little reminder that if you've been celebrating with some holiday cheer, do not drive. Operation Red Nose is here, 250-755-6969. Be safe out there. Don't be silly. We'll see you next time right here on Go. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions. Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Maffeo Salon.